Actually, I don't know how much. Hey, what's up? Fuck <sighs> it. So, uh, hi. Uh, I own my own business. Uh, I weld in stuff. So, I thought I would like stream it and and share and stuff. So, um, hi. Yeah. going on? Why do you keep doing that? Stop it. Alright, I guess I have to find that fucking the thing. I'll be right back.
Stop it. Stop antagonizing every single dog around us. gonna have to switch this over to this. And then shift that there. Yeah I know the quality is gonna be shit. But oh well. Until I can find that fucking SD card. <laughs> Jester!
wouldn't be working right now, but I need to make a list of groceries for the lady. Yay. Are you coming from... Now let's just detach this entire... Okay. Alright. Seems like that's working acceptable now. Okay, I think I fixed it. So let's do that. Let's go into here. Change. Plug everything back in. making that grocery list for the lady and then I'll we'll get to work. We have lunch meat, water, buns, mayo, mozzarella sticks for frying and cold, uh, paper towels, milk, crepe cereal, some kind of a Danish because I'm fucking hungry. Um, back to prepping.
good. We're good. You're doing okay, wise butt. Okay. So, this job is putting supporting brackets. Like, the, the job is just add walls to my trailer. So, I put horizontal brackets on um, along like actually let me, let, me, let me do this weatherman style okay so like this right here horizontal bracket put in and then vertical bracket put in 
Um, I fucked up and put that wall in first, started welding it up, and like a dumbass, completely forgot about the warping that, uh, the warping that welding does to metal, specifically thin metal, like any, any metal, but still. Um, so, putting in brackets for support, horizontal to make sure that they're sturdy, vertical to make sure that they go all the way to the top of the walls. Um, should be three inches, or three feet, ten inches from the top of the, uh, from the top of the frame there. Um, I, I don't, I don't fucking know directions, that one. So we're putting vertical brackets in, like, uh,
you might hear a handful of sirens and stuff. We uh, now the best neighborhood. I promise I'll get to work soon. I have to uh, make coffee and eat some food or I'm gonna murder somebody.
give you some more. It's hot. It's really hot. You're gonna burn yourself. Good morning, Odin. Some good coffee. Yes, sir. I'll give you whatever you want. I 
Sure, she's in shot. She's a star. Today's jobs are going to be um, getting that vertical bracket put in and the one, two, not the first, that first one, one, two, three, four, yeah, the four, this thing right here, that vertical bracket, they put four on the other side.
it is 9.53, work starts at 10, it is 30 fucking degrees.
Master.
blocks for me. your problem. I never said I'm professional. I have a diploma and I have experience. But I didn't say I was good.
Ugly but acceptable.
make a square So I'm going to therapy for uh, anger management and depression and all the things. Um, so I'm going to be, I am working on it, but if I get upset, I'm going to just rant and rave like an asshole. So yeah, I'm sorry.
to check. Uh, There we go. I feel like this is more important to be able to see. Okay, we haven't really lost any frames due to uh, internets, I don't think. Um, yeah, all right. need to weld the inside of the bracket to stop
Good stuff.
Say hello to the camera. Come here. That's a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. You are. What? You want a treat? Do you want a treat? Okay, good girl. Hello, human. Sometimes my stupid astonishes me.
Uh, horizontal support brackets are complete. Um, vertical support brackets, at least for the back four-fifths are complete. Uh, I still need to consult with the client about what to do with this one. That guy. The one at the very front. Um, it does not line up perfectly, so I don't know if he wants me to uh, make modifications to the plans or just j just fucking make it work, bro. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna move all this shit to the other side and uh, the f the far side and. Uh, start putting in vertical brackets. Unfortunately, I have to deal with the fucking wall that I put, that wall, um, before putting the brackets in. Uh, we don't have the material to take it off and replace it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, after putting a few supporting welds in about here, uh, it warped away. So, so yeah, we have to fix that. Ratchet straps or something, hook it on, pull it over, hook it on, and then pull it over this way so that I can get the support brackets in. Um, I'll go ahead and show the thing that I'm disappointed in. <laughs> used some uh, some flux core wire that seemed iffy and this welder is shit anyway and I will just go ahead and take the blame that I'm a shit welder uh, weld broke so I had to cut this bracket off of I think this one, the middle one, um, if it's five, it's the middle one, uh, was it that one? So I went yesterday and fucking went to town on beating them to hell to see which ones would, uh, which ones had any faults. Um, yeah, I know, I need to get the spray that shows if there's any cracks or anything. But all these seem good. Um, although there is one more that I flux cored that I kind of want to just rip it out anyway and just start over on that horizontal and vertical bracket because uh, this is this trailer is for a junk removal service and I don't want. Um, I don't want them to be hauling something away and it shifts and breaks anything. So, yeah, I might just go, to, see, here's the problem. If I go to town on it and really rip it, I'm gonna end up bending the angle iron that it's attached to, the, the horizontal bracket, which is then gonna throw the vertical bracket off of uh, level. So, if I test it the way I want to test it, I'm going to make it to where I have to repair it, even if it doesn't fucking break. And then it's just a, a fucking cycle of, I want to test it because I don't want something to shift while he's like making a curve on a highway or something. Um, big bendy roads here in Denver. Uh, or big bendy highways here in Denver. And I don't want something to shift hit the wall, break, and then either part of the wall, some of what he's hauling away, whatever, gets loose and hits a fellow driver. Yeah. Anyway.
Alright. This is going to be uncomfortable for people, but I have to move you. So, we're going to do this. We're going to pick up this power supply. And then I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, it looks like I will be able to. Maybe. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh yeah, that was inside the house. Looks like you're gonna have to be roughly here. Go ahead and put the power supply down. Um, make sure you're level, because you don't seem level. You're definitely not level. Oh, what a shit shot. Um, and it doesn't help that you're like right in the fucking sun. That's slightly better than I get. What's up? Here, hold on. Hey, what's up? Yeah? Well, come on. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get this over here. Let's tilt this this way. Make it level. Okay, tilt it down a little bit. I mean, that kind of helps. Well, that helps a lot. The only problem is I am zoomed out all the way. So... Yeah. Okay, we'll just make sure that you have like the broad view. Okay. Oh fuck, now I'm stuck. <laughs> God damn it. Oh no! I can't afford a new camera. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good. Actually, let's pop a squat for a second. Oh, thank goodness. Okay.
No calls, yes, audio. Okay. I started the business January 13th. Started the business January 13th. Uh, got uh, got my first client the first day. Uh, I was very happy about that. Um, Eighteen foot trailer. He wanted the walls put on it. He has a second job after this one that he wants done. He wants a movable wall from the back of the truck or the front, whatever, the part that attaches to the truck, uh, with a winch pulley system so he can press a button and the the movable wall will push all of the contents of the trailer out of said trailer. That seems like a lot. <laughs> For somebody that doesn't have a shop, just working out of their backyard, that seems like a fucking lot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take that job. Um, the third job that he wants, uh, I can 100% do. He's going to want every single thing sanded and uh, brought up to a rough finish so he can then paint it. He wants to paint it blue, which I feel like he should have painted the majority of the sheet blue before he brought it to me and then he can just patch what I have to grind and weld on but oh well um, yeah then he wants to use our property to paint the shed not shed I'm talking about the end the, the whatever the fuck that thing is trailer um, yeah this wall I need to get it pulled that way so then I can put in the vertical brackets because as of right now the vertical brackets are being pushed out because of, of that curvature. I'll shut the fuck up soon and go back to work. The nicest thing about all of this is the second I feel like sitting down, I fucking sit down. What's up? Come here. Hey. Come here. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. So this is Jester Gurr height. <laughs> yeah? I bet that was fucking loud. So that's Jester Gerhardman. Um, she's a good girl. She is. What day is it? 25th? Uh, she's six and a half months old. She is. Hey, that's mine. Here, give it to me. No? You're gonna take it and show it out. Okay. Hey. Chester. I know, it's not your fault. <laughs> you are all kinds of tilted now, fuck. And then down and touch. Yeah, that'll work. Um, did you accidentally zoom? No, you did not. Okay. <sighs> yeah, she doesn't know any better. She's a puppy. She's out of the big grow phase, so she's starting to understand where her body is, but... Not really. Let's...
pull this over and bigify this. Okay. Um, put that right there. because you got unplugged. Is that better? You happy now? Okay. All right, we got the grinder, gloves, uh, ratchet strap, ratchet straps in the front. kind of dangerous. What if I do this? This is probably not <laughs>
Sketchy as fuck, I know. I know, right? I know. Hey. It's gonna be loud. Uh, I need to cut. Stuff. What's wrong? Mommy will be home any. Mommy will be home any minute. bag of soap stuff. Four, 
for extension cord This one. one.
to to this.
Grab the other two magnets real quick. Put it on that on that on that one. 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 Let's sit let's down, for, down a for a second. <sighs> Music, 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 um, anything, anything you need, need fixed, fixed, any kind any of modifications, modifications you want, you want done, done, anything, anything I, will, I will, I'll see if, I'll I, can see if I can do it. Uh, uh this, person this person wanted, wanted retaining, retaining walls. walls. Actually, actually, I don't know if you can hear me, hear me. I know, I'm, I'm loud, 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 but still. But still. Um, uh, this person, this person wanted, wanted retaining walls put, put on their 18-foot trailer. trailer. Um, I fucked, I fucked up, up and put, and put this wall, wall on first. first. Tacked, tacked it in, in and, and it's it's it's, it's thin, thin enough, enough gauge, gauge that, that it immediately started, started warping, warping out. So, so now, now we have, we have to, to very sketchily, sketchily uh, uh, we have a ratchet strap put, to, put the top, to the top, and I'm and just, just ratcheting, ratcheting it to the other, to the other side, side to pull that wall, wall in. in. Uh, we, uh, have we have horizontal mounting, mounting brackets, brackets um, one eighth, one eighth inch, inch uh, angle iron. iron. With, with one eighth, one eighth inch, inch angle, angle iron vertical, vertical brackets, brackets. Weld, weld these in, these in. Um, put support, support welds, welds or structural, or structural welds, welds on the on bottom, bottom of the. Of the <laughs> 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 
put, put structural, structural wells on the bottom of the, of the horizontal, horizontal brackets, brackets, and then, and we're, then going we're going to, to on one side, side and the other, 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 go up with, with uh, one, 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 one to three, to three inch, inch welds. Um, <coughs> uh, he, wants he wants two more two jobs, jobs done this trailer, trailer after, after this one, one. Uh, but, but I'm not taking one of the, one of the jobs, jobs because, because it is, is it's too, it's much. too much. It is too, it is much, too much for a for backyard, backyard shop. shop. Um, second, second, the third job is easy, that's just grinding grind all, all the paint off, paint off so then so he, he, can, he, can, he can paint, paint it the way he wants it. Okay, three comments. Oh, there's, oh, there's an, echo. an echo. Oh shit! Oh, I'm, shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let, let, me, me, let me. Let me. Okay. How about that? I think that should have fixed it. Where the fuck is my mouse? Okay. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I very quickly just threw OBS on the laptop, pulled the camera out, grabbed the, the capture card. Um, yeah, the only, the only thing that seems to be moving now on audio is the video capture device, so it should be that. What's wrong? Hey. What's wrong? You have water, you have food. <coughs> Mommy's at work. She will be back soon. Um. But yeah, we are, uh... We're doing a thing. Um. I was telling my lady a couple days ago that, that this was the only time uh, I started this company on the 13th. We got our first client pretty much the first day. Um, and not like a family member. We actually got a, a real client the first day. Um, it's the only time I've ever started a job and I felt competent and capable. Like every time I start a job, even if it's a job that I know I can do, the second it starts, um, you have that like, I don't know how they do things. I don't know what happens if I mess up. I don't, I don't know. But this, I know what I do when I mess up. I, I, I already messed up. See if I can show this. Put this that way so the glare isn't horrible. Okay, yeah. So the weld broke there. The weld did not break here or here. Um, but you see what I had to do to it to get it to break. Whereas, uh, yeah, I had to, I had to bend the fuck out of it, but this client does a, hey, Jester, you can't go out front. I need to, fix, I need to fix the fence. Um, the client does a junk removal business and a moving and hauling business. So, my logic is I need to damage the fuck out of them to make sure that they're actually going to be stable. If, if that were to have happened while he was rounding a corner on one of the Denver highways, something inside shifts and hits it, that goes, one of these breaks off, it hits a fellow driver, fucked, I'm fucked. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, 
The second I feel that it is secure and done, I'm gonna damage it, I'm gonna rip at it, I'm gonna pull on it, push on it, bang into it, anything I can to make sure that it is as strong as it needs to be. Um. Uh. But yeah, things are going pretty fucking well. Um, I'm in therapy, that's the thing. Not just like looking for a therapist, but actually in therapy. <laughs> yeah. Arr. Arr. You don't chew in my helmet. Yep, um, in therapy, started uh, Hydeman Metalworking LLC, and seeing as this is now a thing that I don't have to specifically worry about because now anybody can just find me, let's go ahead and move this real quick. Um, But yeah, we we actually started. Oh, oh, I I, I don't want to fucking find it. But I have a certificate of good standing because I am in good standing with the state of Colorado. There's a helicopter somewhere. That bitch is loud. There it is. But yeah, we started the LLC on the 13th, got a client, um, got a second client. Second client is family, so I don't count that as a legitimate client. Uh, the second you can do something, family seems to come out of the woodwork and, oh shit, bro, you got a welding shop? I've, I've had I've had this blah, blah, blah that needs blah, 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 but we're family, right? Eh? Um, uh, so 
starting a starting a company in Colorado is really fucking easy. Like leg, like legitimately the most easy state in America to start an LLC. Um, do you have a name? Do you have a name for your company? And what's the address of the company? You fill out those three things and give the state $50 and boom, you have a company. Um, oh, and no, no, the, that, the, the family member, uh, family member gets a 100% family discount. It's her mom. She bought a cast iron pot, like this, this big, this way, this big, um, it, it looks like a loaf pan, but it's, it's like a Dutch oven equivalent of a loaf pan. It's meant for like slow cooking ribs and shit like that, but she uses it for bread, but it doesn't have a fucking handle. Like it's, there's, uh, I think it was three sixteenths of an inch of a little bit of overhang, um, off these, off the sides. So I got her one second. Be comfy. We have business cards. Um, that's pretty cool. I've never had a business card. So we have this hex pipe. It's not hex pipe, it's hex bar. Pipe is hollow round. Tube is hollow square rectangular whatever. That's important. So Whatever, whatever that company is. Like, it looks like, like there's a bit of a, a handle here, but it's almost completely flush. So what we're doing for her is we're going to use eight inches. I think eight inches is about right. Um, and we're going to, flare, not flare, we're going to heat it up and twist the ends so it has a spiral but then a center mass to grab onto. And then we're going to cut four inch sections because this is 24 inches. So eight, four, four, that's 16 total. As long as I don't fuck it up, um, it's going to be spin on the end and then follow that same spin I think I think I'm not exactly sure I might do like a, a light twist and then as it hits that 45 degree angle to then come down at a full 90 keep it straight keep this bit straight and then twist the other way like somebody just grabbed the handle and twisted the whole thing oh but then that means that 
these bits would still be twisted. Whatever. I haven't figured out what I want to do yet with her thing. Um, uh, but yeah, since this is cast iron and this is mild, cold rolled mild steel. Uh, cold rolled, it's not going to have any mill scale on it or anything, so I don't need to polish it up before welding. It's just going to be good to go. Although I do need to grind a little bit. I don't know how much, if any of this is going to come on, uh, what side is it? This side? Yeah, you can see that line going down. I want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm going to have to clean that up. But okay, so the thing about cast iron is you need to preheat it before you weld it, like the entire fucking thing. Because if there is a serious deviation in temperature from area to area, then there's gonna cr there's gonna be a crack. Um, and she just got this like a few weeks ago after it's been in her shopping cart on Amazon or some other fucking website for like a year. She's finally like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. And then it turns out it didn't have a fucking handle, so I have to I have to put a handle on for her. Um, yeah. Since this is here, and this is a paying client, uh, paying clients always take priority. So I told her I apologize for the inconvenience that it is not ready yet. Huh. Anyway, um, I don't know where Jester is, and there's dogs barking, and she likes to fucking antagonize them. So we have to preheat this and preheat this weld it on and then throw it back in the oven at like 600 degrees and just let it sit there for a while um but i think the lady just got home so i'm gonna go and get groceries She brought me lunch. I'll get back to work after groceries, I promise.
got a handful of chicken treats, and she's eating some food. I have to tinkle. I have to tinkle. <laughs> okay. Duster, come here. Come on. You're not going anywhere. Come on. What? Oh, that's up to you, babe. It's your pizza. You want to give it to Jester? You give it to Jester whenever you want to give it to Jester. Where's my drink at? I was I wasn't calling you. She has pizza for you. So Jester is a Shepsky, uh, Husky German Shepherd mix. Um, we're pretty sure that she's, we still need to do actual DNA testing, but we're pretty sure that she's 100% Shepsky, which actually is a, a breed. Um, we got her when she was like right, right before two months old, or right after two months old. Uh, she's six and a half months now. Uh, she's 43 pounds. Uh, she eats... Um, blue, I don't know if it's blue buffalo or blue wilderness or whatever, but it's blue, uh, lamb and oatmeal. Um, uh, she eats that puppy mix, not, not adult dog. Um, she has all of her shots. She just went to the vet for a checkup like three weeks ago. Um, her mom was 82 pounds. Her dad was 103 pounds. Uh, she has one full ice blue eye, one half brown, half ice blue eye. So a, a one quarter heterochromia. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, and supplemental food along with that blue wilderness or whatever, she gets salmon, brisket, and chicken thigh, slow cooked with rice, corn, carrots, and peas. Um, yeah. yeah, she is a... Uh, She's a good doggy. She's going through her bitch phase because she's six months old. So any way that she can act out, she's she's acting out. Hey babe, is there a soda on the workbench? There's two. Would you mind grabbing one for me? And if I both. Just came home from here. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm joking. No. I'm so sorry. You see the sketchiness that I did? <laughs> uh, it already popped off. Oh yeah, yeah, scary. I, would, I was standing right next to it and it, the metal bit, my hair. Yeah. What? What do, you, what do you mean? Like that it's not folded? No, babe, uh, okay, come over here.
Okay, you can't really see it here. Oh, you can see it perfectly here. So, you see how it's down there like that? And then it comes up because I've welded it right here. You see this, how it like, if this, if this wasn't being pulled that way, you see how it would right there? It's because of these welds. So whenever you weld metal, it, as it hardens, which it, it's stupid to like say it like this because it's not like a step-by-step -step process, but as it, as it cools, it pulls. So I stuck it in there. We bent it over the, over this bar right here because that adds another three, three, not three quarter, uh, five eighths. Yeah, yeah, five eighths of an inch. So that already created a curvature to the metal and then welding it pulled it in even more. And since we didn't have these brackets on, it just went as far as it wanted to go. So the ratchet strap at the top to pull it out so that these can be welded on nice and flush, giving that true vertical uh, stereo here. Not perfect, but versus where it was, I think it was like this. Yeah, and it just, it gets worse and worse as it sits. Uh, I already showed them the weld. Um, she will tell you, you're not on camera. The camera's facing this way. Oh. It's okay, you don't have to be on camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she has seen firsthand that I can break anything. Um, yesterday, while I was testing, the reason I tested that one so hard is because I grabbed another one and I just yanked and I literally broke the weld in half. So after I broke that weld in half, I tested the others that I had used flux core on, fucked them up. So we pulled them off, re-welded them with the uh, 7018 one eighth inch rods. Um, it's sturdy now. Yeah, I fucking break everything. Do you, do you wanna you wanna sit down and actually yeah, sit down. It's just Bohap. Nobody cares about me. We don't have an audience, we have Bohap. So it's hard to see, but here's chat. Actually, I wonder if I can make this bigger. I doubt it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's my drink. Hi. <laughs> Respond to things, be, be like nice and stuff. But the main reason why I told you to sit down, right. so you can tell them everything that I broke in the first like three fucking days. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he even just said, as long as you don't break the wall there, you're good. Well, I mean, that wasn't... You didn't break it. No, babe, tell him. So a piece of the welder... The ground. Oh, the ground. The thing that makes you be able to weld. That broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, I don't know... I don't know the specifics. Um... Nobody does. Yeah. Even even the person at the store was like, I don't know how you fucking did this. <laughs> but at least we were able to find the piece. And it fit and everything. Uh, he broke his face mask. <laughs> face? <laughs> his welding face. helmet? Oh, uh, his welding helmet. Uh, the inside 
the little strappy bits on the inside. So he had to get a new insert. Uh, and grinder. Grinder and his grinder broke. And those two brackets that I actively broke. Oh, off of this thing? Yeah. 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 Remember the the first one that I broke off, and then that one that I broke. Oh. Yeah. So I've broken two brackets, the welder, the grinder, and my welding helmet. Yeah. <laughs> and but it's still working. So. And. You, you, he knows. more like gremlins, probably. You know, so you just be honest. Have, with my anger issue mm -hmm. that I'm going to therapy for, am I handling all of this okay? Oh, for sure. And I don't I know. Would have, I would have broke down and cried and gave up already, so. I feel like you're doing a good job. Yeah, he said you gotta be nice to your tools. <laughs> right? Because they help you do stuff. The reason I weld... Hey, actually, come over here. The reason I weld is because if I break metal, I can re-weld it and fix it. I don't like anything that if I mistreat it, it can just break. I do like you. Thanks. I like you too. You're the only thing that I could break that I actively try not to. Actually, you and Jester. Oh, did Jester get you? Uh, I think she bumped me yesterday. Oh. Okay. Alright, um, I'm gonna hit my pen a few more times, eat some of that, and then get back to work. You, you do whatever you want to do. You want to go inside, watch stuff. You want to hang out out here, do whatever you want to do. It's bright out here, I know. Mm -hmm. And I have a headache, so. Oh, go taste some Cetrin. Bye, guys. <laughs> or, bye, Bohab. <laughs> well, I'm also going to be uploading these to the YouTubes, oh. so. Yep, so bye, guys. <laughs> Do you want another pop? Um, and it's old. Oh, okay. I can get it. Ugh. Okay. Let's let's smallify this. Okay. So I got those little like Danish thingies. Uh huh. Um, and again, I only went up to the front with one pack, so I had to go running back <laughs> to go get the other one. Oh, so you you had your mom be like the little kid that's waiting for you? No. No. No, he he beep beeped it. Twice oh, okay, and good. She went on about it. Okay. Thank you for lunch, huh? even though I already ate. Oops. Not your fault. Um. Yeah, slow start because the fucking camera has this, um, like a, a it, it's called demo mode. Uh -huh. If you don't click record but you leave it on, it goes through a fucking slideshow. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so it kept fucking with me. I tried to find the, the SIM, not SIM card, the SD card. I can't find it anywhere. Uh -huh. Um, that bitch is gone. No that idea. That what you gave me? That, like, rectangle thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the USB, not the thumbstick. No. That very thin, black yeah. rectangle thing. Yeah. Yeah, you gave me one of those. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> it's in my stuff. Okay. It's in my stuff. What do you mean in your stuff? I'm talking about, like, four days ago. When I tried to get it onto the computer... And I was like, I can't find the fucking thing. Oh. That SD card. Oh. 
Oh, then no. Huh? Then no. I don't no. Know. no. Neither of us know where it is. No. Okay. Well, that just has the footage of like the first two days worth of working on this project. <laughs> yeah, we'll find it eventually. Um, um, I have therapy set two. Therapy at two? It was supposed to be this morning. Oh, yeah, so but you, you, you work today. Um, okay. So All right, we'll be we'll be out here. Um, What's up? My mom's making fish and veggies tonight. Do you want that or no? Do you want something else? I'm pretty sure after I'm well worked, I, I won't care what we eat. I just, I need nutrients. Oh yeah, speaking of nutrients, oh, you're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> speaking of nutrients, I've lost like 30, 40 pounds. Um, yeah, I've lost like 30 or 40 pounds in like three, four months. It's like a, it's like a hot pocket, I think. Okay. Had a bite of food? Healthy glug of caffeine? Yeah, Costco food. Horribly unhealthy, but man, does it taste acceptable. Go for you. Consistency is important. Um, I got up to two... I think it was 259 or 261. Weighed myself a handful of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and I was down to 214. Um, started started this and immediately bumped up to 221. So I'm assuming that from all the soreness, uh, the majority of that's muscle, because I have I still have a little bit of pudge on my belly, but. But I feel better, much better. But I can I can feel that swinging up from like the 160. Started dating her like one 160, 170. Fell down to uh, or 160 up to 260, down to 216. The majority of that's all just within like the last three or four months. My knees fucking hurt. My back hurts. Like, my body was not okay with that weight. I'll give you a bite. Come here. App. Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not supposed to hop up. Here. There you go. Yeah, I know, don't feed your dog um, table scraps, don't feed them processed foods, all those things. I have, I have this logic with it. She's gonna be on this planet for anywhere between 10 and at the very fucking most, like 16 years. I want her to be able to experience everything. So she eats healthy, she gets exercise, she goes to the dog park, we go to the actual park, like right across the street. Um, she chases squirrels, she has all the toys she could ever want, all the things. But every now and then, even that ultra healthy person really wants that cheeseburger. So she gets a, she gets a bite or so. All right, 
I'm gonna get back to work. Um, things are gonna be loud. And I'm gonna move this guy right there for now, because that's the one we're gonna be working on first. All right, gloves. Oh, put sandwich away, she will fucking eat it. What's up? Did you enjoy it? Alright. Glove. Oh, fuck. I have to take them all off and sand down the areas. Two major things that need to be done while welding. Um, all of this... It's, it's hard to see, especially from a fucking camera. But all of that extra gray color, um, I'm not 100% certain if it is on angle iron, but I just go with the logic that it's all mill scale. Um, mill scale, rust, ah, I, I can also, do that so I can see myself. Mill scale, rust, um, paint, anything that adds resistance to the circuit that you're basically shorting, because uh, that's all welding really is, is just closing a circuit, opening the circuit, but keeping it close enough that electricity is discharging. Heating up the metal and depositing that metal into the into the base metal that you're trying to weld to. Um, but you need a good connection between the uh, I don't know what it would be called. Um, I mean this right here is basically the fuse because you, you, you strike your arc and then you're pulling away. If it just sits there and sticks, the whole thing is gonna heat up red hot and then just melt out like it, like a fuse. Cathode? I don't fucking know, I'm not a word person. I do metal, ugh, I do metal stuff. But yeah, we have to, they at least all sit properly. Uh, they're all, they're all um, level both sides so now what we have to do is pull them off sand off the edge and then sand off the horizontal bracket to make sure that we can get uh, good contact and a good penetrative weld all right get to work don't put the magnet on the fucking computer Chris
show you a little bit better with this. We can see, you can see that like, that edge. Yeah, you just need, uh, you need good clean contact. You're okay. You might end up getting hit by some sparks though. You might want to move. If you don't want to move, that's totally okay. You gonna move? Okay. Looking pretty good. So, something that it has to be kept in mind. Can you actually? Yeah, you can see that good. Okay. Something that has to be kept in mind. Magnets fuck with the flow of electricity. I put magnets on the horizontal bracket. That's that little blue arrow thing. Uh, magnets on the little horizontal bracket. Magnet is also connected to the vertical bracket and I need to put tacks between the vertical bracket and horizontal bracket. I am dealing with my anger issue but I'm gonna be pissy because it's gonna piss me off. First things first we have to bring the welder over to this side. Go. 
hands up. Oh, on Twitch? Oh. Metal inert gas. TIG, tungsten inert gas. Uh, GMA. Uh, GS Ma. Gas shielded metal arc welding. Uh, we need two. Just like this area. We need to make sure that there's an area that the clamp can get full connection and make sure that there's as little resistance as possible while creating that circuit. Loud. for our ground clamp. Good job. Our welder. Let's grab some rods. And if I find myself yelling, it's one, to make sure that I know that the microphone is picking me up, and two, because I'm wearing headphones and listening to music. What the fuck is my helmet? Nothing pretty, but that's not what it's about. It is about getting a tack on there to make sure that it is not going to move. Okay, that is level.
One second, home invader maybe. Vertical welds okay. Chip off the slag. Where's my chipping hammer? I seem to have missed. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. Don't kick the camera, Chris. hammer. Thank <laughs> you. 
some more. Oh, I already got pods. Good job, pass, Chris. That looks good. That looks real good. I know I'm like in the way, but too bad. It's more important for me to see what I'm doing than for you to see what I'm doing. Nailed it, Chris. Structural weld. Ugh. I keep kicking that thing, I apologize. That's a damn good weld. Good stuff. All right, on to the next. That's gonna be that one. Okay, have to do the same thing. Clean up the angle iron, clean up the brack. They're both angle iron, but as of right now, since this is a loose piece, I am referring to this as angle iron, and then referring to this horizontal piece as the bracket, because it is welded on and already a part of the frame. Let's hit your pin.
Okay. Yeah, it's not... My logic is... I need it to be strong. I don't care if it's pretty. As long as... As long as there is no failure at any point, I am happy with my work. And some of these things, like like that weld, it overflowed a little bit, so it's flush with the metal on the top, but then it has like a teardrop at the bottom. Um, not horrible, but not, uh, not aesthetically pleasing. So, at a certain point it becomes, how much effort do you want to put in? Did they pay for that amount of effort? And what are you going to be happy with? So some of these welds I might end up going back and grinding some of it off just to make it look better. But it's not about looks, it's about functionality. Was it a, a function or form? This is all about function. The only thing that I don't like is that this wall is already up. I cannot get on the inside of these brackets. So like this bracket here, I need to get inside of this bracket. I need to weld where this piece of angle iron joins with the bit of frame right there. So welds typically add support and structure to the opposite side. So I'm welding on this side, so if you push that way against the weld, then it's gonna hold. If you pull against that weld, if you pull the direction that the weld is on, there's a much greater chance that that weld is going to fail. And because I can't take this off, I'm just gonna have to do a one, two pass. So one, like that. Uh, yeah, like that. So that first weld right here, and then these two fingers right here are the one, two. Basically a, a, an upside down pyramid or triangle, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so if I do, can you, can you? Okay, so there's one weld right here. So if I put another weld right here, overlapping it about 60%, and then another weld on the frame, but have that overlap the other 40%, uh, 45 and 65. So then those two welds meet in the middle and they are perfectly flush with, with each other. There's no divot and then come back up for that second weld. It is up from that second weld and onto that third, the one, one, two. So the one and then the one, two. The one on the one, two needs to be flush. I know it's a bunch of shit in my head that I'm trying to explain and I see the picture in my head but I can't explain it in the same way. Anyway, hit your pin, shut up and get back to work, Chris. dogs alone.
And yes, I know, safety. Wear safety glasses. Wear, <laughs> wear, wear all the PPE. We don't got money for that. I didn't clean the bottom part. ground away our soapstone mark tape measure I forget what Soapstone is, but it's a, uh, it, it's, 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 was it chalk, talcum, um, I don't know, it, it writes on metal. Side. That's okay. Okay. Magnet. most annoying thing about using magnets as braces after you grind everything is that there's fucking metal shavings everywhere and then you won't get a, a smooth seam. There we go. There we go. That's looking good. One on the other side.
Okay. Um, rod, welder, gloves. that holding that's holding I fucking hope that's holding because the magnets are pissing me off. Okay. Chipping hammer. It is barely holding, but it is holding. the music.
Like, why is it so hard for it to just do that? All I need is for it to fucking weld properly. I'm not asking for miracles. Just for you to do the job that I bought you to do. Okay, that one actually came out well.
As pretty as it is, I don't like it. The fuck did I just drop? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, as pretty as pretty as it is, I don't like it. Um, there's amazing penetration on the vertical support, but the horizontal support, uh, it doesn't have a good flow line, so we're going to have to do another pass. I feel like that's a lot better. Much better. Yeah. All right. Structural weld. Acceptable. Next. I'm going to be working on that one right there. Okay, so here's the thing. I get frustrated with this so fucking much, but for some reason, like until I hit that stopping point of like, all right, I'm done for the day, no matter how pissy I get with this, I fucking love it. Because 
no matter what happens, say I weld something so fucking ugly that I feel like I have to grind it out and re-weld it, I can just grind it out and re-weld it. No, no long-lasting negativity or anything, because any time you do something you don't like, just re-weld it. Just like that last one. The weld was okay, I just didn't like the look of it. Um, so you want flush transitions. You don't want from the bottom edge a bulb and then into the top edge a bulb. So it looks like it's, like it's something extra added on top. You want it flush and smooth. You want heft to it, depending on how big of a weld you want, but you want it flush and smooth. So, yeah, the bottom side didn't look, didn't look like it penetrated enough on this one. Oh, you can't fucking see what I'm, oh yeah, you can. Um, so I just, I re-welded it. Ah. I need to get my beard trimmed. I got a bunch of split ends. Hey, hit your pen. Yeah, dude, that, that's like the nicest fucking thing. Minus the cold. Like, if I had an actual shop, which hopefully somewhere in the backyard there will be a shop in a handful of years, but... But yeah, I get to make my own hours. I get to take the clients on that I want to take on. Um, the second I accept that client, that client has say over their property but I'm the boss. For the first time in my life, I'm the fucking boss. That's some cold ass coffee. I'm not drinking beer, it's Pepsi. We all know I don't drink. Although, we went to Vegas for we went to Vegas for the lady's birthday. I love white Russians. Oh my god. Oh, they're so good. Um I even I even have like everything to make white Russians and then I add a splash of a uh, Irish cream. Yeah, that's that good shit. Where'd that other magnet go? There's one right there that, uh, over here I threw it. Because I'm a child at times. Oh shit, did I move it? No, it's good. It's good. Okay. You go there, good buddy. Ugh, I know I don't need you yet, but still, I want you guys ready. Oh, I still need to that. Whatever. Whatever. Wrong disc. Actually, while I'm over here, let's do this real quick.
Let's change out the disc. Flat disc. Little insert thing. sure there's footage of me that somebody's gonna be like fucking hating so I need to make sure I stay in front of the camera Yeah, I was telling, uh, I was telling, uh, mother-in-law, uh, a handful of days ago, We're not specifically telling her, but just brought up safety squints. It's a thing. People know what safety squints are. It's, 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 it's acceptable. Yes, I need to measure this. Okay. Uh, 
tape measure. There it is. Soapstone. There it is. Actually, I need a better soapstone bed. Okay, over our center point. Okay, let's see if we can get away with, uh, let's see if we can get away with just one magnet. And also, let's see if we can get away with doing this. I know, shaky. Oh shit, we're doing it though. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's the one I'm gonna be working on. Okay. Get this out of the way, because we don't need weld on our rods. Uh, area's cleaned up. Um, that area's cleaned up. I still don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Bring the welder over a little bit more. Uh, that should be good. ground clamp a little bit closer and while we're doing that let's just go ahead and clean up the spot for the ground clamp on each Good job, everything's good, wonderful. Um, grab a rod. <laughs> good job, Chris. I swear, I'm kind of a professional.
This is a big tack, but it was being an asshole. What's up? You just wake up from a nap? Throw these fucking magnets on and see if that might help the situation. All right, acceptable. I need two fucking grinders. Actually, I need I need four grinders. So I never have to change fucking discs out like this again. The issue is this flap disc is more for like removing surface metal and making it prettier. Um, almost perfect for removing uh, mill scale and anything else like paint in a quick manner. This is more of like a polishing but this one at least flexes and can get inside some of the grooves to get all the slag out. problem is it doesn't always get say there's a uh, a pinhole uh, it's not going to get the slag out of that <laughs> acceptable all right Let's weld.
some good shit right there. This one, this plate only, this sheet only goes halfway, so I will be able to weld uh, support welds on the inside on this one. Um, I'm I'm iffy on whether or not I need to um, let's look at this one real quick. So this right here, you could see. There's weld right here. You can't see it, but there's weld right here and weld right here. And then the bracket is all welded up. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. I could actually show you guys. You're close enough. Okay, let's close this in so I can maneuver you a little bit better. I know, shaky. Nothing extra amazing. Can we get, there we go, that's, that's acceptable. A lot of spatter everywhere, and this is what I was talking about, doing a, another pass along the bottom. So that top weld, you can see that I cut into that top weld just a little bit and it's flush. Um, that, that vertical looks like shit. That vertical weave looks okay. It's a little hollow in the center and then we have a fisheye at the end. But all in all, I feel like it's acceptable within the parameters of what I'm being paid for. Quality but also just get it done, bro. Um, uh, so anyway, do I have you on the right one? Yeah, it's gonna be that one over there next. Uh, the, the, uh, that one. Anyway, um, but yeah, this one, and the back one, I can't do back supporting welds. So I'm torn on whether or not I should throw the extra four or five rods in to do any of the one, not any of the ones, these two, uh, to weld all the way around the, the outside edge just to add extra support. Um, if I, th if the fact that I had the thought means that I have to. Because if I don't, I'm going to second guess myself forever. So I do that vertical weld, that vertical weld, and then internal support weld.
Oh, did you get unplugged again? I apologize. I'm fixing it right now. Boop. Are you better? All right, let's sit down for a second, hit our pin. And yes, I understand that every time I sit down and I hit my pin, I'm costing myself time. But my logic is, if I'm gonna sit and hit my pen inside or out here, whether I'm working or not, that's not taking time away from the job. That's just taking time for me. Oh yeah, I guess I can like move that over a little bit. Make sure the plug is still in. Okay, good stuff. And let's read some comments. Ugh. No, some of them actually do look acceptable. Um, for the most part, they look bad, though. Uh, they are... They are industrial welds, not, not fashion welds. Like I said before, form... Function over form. I'm doing straight function. I don't give a shit what they look like. Um... I, I don't care as long as the function is proper so that one weld I didn't like the look of it so I'm gonna do I, I did that weld over the top of or uh, over the top of the bottom half but other than other than very specifics like I don't like the look of blank because of blank I don't give a shit I'm gonna leave it um, and one of the best parts is I'm going to go back through at the end and flap disc, uh, scotch bright, whatever. I might scotch bright. Um, but definitely flap disc on all the arc marks. So an arc mark is when you, like, strike your arc and then the fucking rod gets stuck. So you have to keep striking and striking and striking until eventually you have a uh, clear current. It doesn't help that I don't throw my rods in the oven before I start welding, um, get rid of any last moisture that might be in them, and for some reason, Colorado's been humid lately. Um, preheat all your metal. That's like that's one thing that I've not been doing. Preheating my metal. So if you have a chunk of metal and you grab a torch, like any kind of torch that produces flame. It doesn't need to be a welding or cutting or whatever. Just grab a torch and hit that piece of metal with that torch. All around where you hit that metal, you're going to see moisture come out of that metal. Um, metal is porous, so it absorbs moisture. This clearly stays outside overnight while I go and live my life and then go and start, uh, start the next day. All of it has frost on it. Well, while that frost dethaws and dethaws thaws and uh, and melts, it gets absorbed. Not all of it just evaporates. So little things like that. I do know the correct process. <laughs> eh. A lot of those things are about presentability. Like, you want to make sure that your metal's not soaking wet so you can get a good weld. You need to make sure that it's clean of rust or mill scale or whatever so you can get a good weld. But but other than that, it's eh, It's just about aesthetics. So go through, whenever everything's all done, go through and grind off every area that had arc marks any excessive welding, anything like that, grind it all down, polish it, smooth it out, make it look nice, like just a nice piece of metal. It doesn't have to look like a weld. And then 
he's going to paint it anyway, so all the welds are going to be covered. Oh yeah, dude, it's a fucking nice day. Uh, it started out a little chilly. Right now it's 48 degrees. Or what what the watch says. But we don't really trust the watch completely. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, it's a pretty fucking nice day today. It is only 138 right now. I need to get that last vertical bracket put in. Uh, that one. <laughs> get that one put in. And then... Then I can start putting on the... Uh, at least put on that back wall on the opposite side. Not... 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 Uh, not this wall. But that wall. And not that wall back and over. Yeah, there you go. Um, need to get that bracket put in. Need to figure out what I'm doing with those front brackets. And then after that, after putting in that bracket and the front brackets, then I can start doing the walls. But I don't think I'm going to get to the walls today. I think that's tomorrow. So we have today's stream, tomorrow will be walls, um, and then maybe even, what day is today, Thursday? Yeah, today's Thursday. So I should be finished with this job hopefully tomorrow, and then I can start working on mother-in-law's uh, cast iron lid. See how high the oven goes, because we don't have a fucking kiln or a furnace. Uh, uh, um, like a like a forge, so I can't preheat that way. And even if I could preheat that way, I think I'd be heating it up too fast. So I need to see how high the um, how high the oven goes. Throw it in the oven, let it sit for like two hours, preheat up to that temperature. Don't just throw it in at whatever the max is um, and then we'll go ahead actually before we start heating the lid I need to see if my shitty little propane torches can heat up enough to be able to bend that metal I don't know if they can but we'll see that'll be Saturday slash Sunday streams yeah I see the squirrel too it's taunting you it comes and eats your outside food. We have a bowl of water and food for out here. I I only put like an inch at the bottom because I know the squirrels get it. And I, I like the squirrels. They they keep just your company. Um, and there's so far... Oh, there's another squirrel in the fence. You guys probably saw that. Um, uh... There seems to be two different cats that come by that I don't know if they have a home or not, but they come by and they consistently eat. And I know it's not cat food, but it's the first ingredient is lamb. I feel like that's good enough. Uh, coming from like homeless person's perspective, I'd rather eat food that is not specifically for humans if I was hungry, as long as I knew that it was good food. So the cat eating dog food, or puppy food, I feel like it's okay. And it's not my fucking cat, so I'm not buying food for it. I don't, I don't think we even have fucking raccoons in Colorado. Like, I know we do, but where I am, I don't think we do.
Uh, okay, apparently we do. <laughs> um, Commerce City Raccoon Removal. Raccoons frequently break into attics, tip over garbage cans, rip up your lawn, uh, defecate in your pool, and more. Located just outside Denver in Commerce City is one of the largest urban refugees uh, in the country. It is home to more than 300 species, including mule deer, coyotes, bisons, songbirds, bald eagles. And we actually have a bald eagle that lives that way. Uh, north? North? No. I'm fucking stupid, because that way's west. <laughs> East. <laughs> um, uh, there's a bald eagle that lives in the giant field over there. So, like, any, any day that you're driving down Quebec, you could just look to your right next to all those fields, and there's a good chance that there's going to be a bald eagle on one of those, uh, one of those giant um, big road lights. Whatever the fuck those are called. Um the fuck are those called? Lights. Whatever. Alright, hit your pin a few more times, get back to work, Chris. Let me go check on her real quick. Oh yeah, fun fact about bald eagles, I believe they're off of the endangered species list. the welder. Move you guys for just a second. There we go. Make sure the shot is right. Definitely not. Oh yeah. I know, no memory card. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit that button. You're not allowed to sing along, Chris. Copyright. Acceptable. 
Why am I? Why do I keep grabbing the MIG gun? Uh, we still need to measure and get halfway. The horizontal brackets. I keep tripping over you. Thank you. The horizontal brackets are 18 inches. Halfway, 9 inches. Like that's just about perfect. Nope. I know it's not why. I know why it's not perfect. Hammer. When in doubt, grab a bigger hammer.
Ника. All right, stick welder. Two rods because one might piss me off. Oh fuck, I haven't checked the level on any of these. Except for that first one. Stop hitting the fucking camera, Chris. Acceptable. 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 Uh, right on the edge of acceptable. Yeah, right on the edge of acceptable. 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 All right. Weld it up. Gotta get the slag off.
vertical welds. That looks like shit, but it's on. Fucking ugly. Jesus. Chisel. Yeah, it's a screwdriver, but I use it like a chisel. Let's finish this one and move on to internal welds.
was it Beckett? Uh, ever tried, ever failed, try again, fail again, fail better. Front weld. I forgot about the front weld. Two more finishing welds on this one. I was not done.
Okay. I know I overreact with anger. All right, outside support welds are put in. Uh, outside horizontal support welds put in. Top layer horizontal support welds put in. Vertical supports welded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Vertical welds put in. Horizontal vertical support welds put in. Uh, I think everything is done on this side. Minus that front one, I don't know what we're gonna do. Like I said, I need to need to contact the client and see what he wants. Um, and uh, light, lighting is shit. Um, but yeah, it it's it's almost kind of sort of looking like a trailer with walls. So I decided to go with the angle iron with the point, like, hey, there you go. Angle iron is a 90 degree corner, what would be like a square, it's just one corner. Um, 90 degree angle iron, uh, it's, not, it's, 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 it's mild steel. Anyway, um, uh, I decided to put them in like this, like say the camera was the wall. I'm putting them in like this. I'm, I don't know the structural engineering behind whether or not they have to be L shape or A shape on the wall to give the most amount of support, but I'm almost certain that going against the wall like this versus like this with one of the L's sticking out. One of the, it's, you get it. Anyway, um, I mean, I guess I could just move the camera and then like rotate a piece of angle iron to show, but eh. Oh yeah, and uh, it'll take like four seconds. That's so much nicer. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've done all of the internal support welds on the far side of the trailer. Now I just need to do the one, two, since I can't get to these two. Oh, fuck. Now would be the time to finish those welds. Yep, now's the time to finish those welds. I'm not, I'm not coming back over here to weld on the outside of this fucking trailer again. My nose is running. Uh, time is it? Uh, 2.16? She's doing therapy, so we're not even allowed to go in. We're allowed to go inside. I just, I don't want to go inside. If I hear 
her therapy because she does therapy over the phone. Um, if I hear her therapy, I'm I feel like I'm invading, and if my name is brought up at all and I accidentally just hear it in passing, I'm gonna think about what have I been doing wrong lately, like all the all the things. So, so yeah, I, I no no not allowed to go inside. Oh, I still have soda. I still have soda. Triangles are strong. I mean, look at Ponzi schemes. Those are... Yeah. Excuse me. Do you have liquid? No. Yep, we're getting there. Any clients? No. Nope, no clients. Parents are coming into town for 4th of July. I'm gonna pull a fucking dick move with the parents. Um, I'm, I'm legit just gonna ask them, hey, do you wanna do something really fucking nice for me? You, you. The other siblings, have had to ask for help, have had to move back in, have had to do all these, or have to ask for all these things for you guys to do to help them. I've never asked for help. Even getting out of homelessness, I never asked for help. I think I'm gonna ask them if they wanna take me on a shopping spree at the welding shop. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they, they did help with one thing with all this. Pop sent a check for Christmas. For Christmas, not for the business, for Christmas. And I used every single penny on this business. So, uh, seeing as they have not actively helped like, hey, we want to invest in you, we believe in you type thing. Hi. You okay? Yeah, let me put my pin down. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's a good girl. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if they want to help out, and that'll give a handful of months. Fourth of July is January, February, March, April, May, June, July. God damn. Okay, that's a handful of months away. Um, I know I love you. You're a good girl. I know you want to play. I'm sorry. I'm I'm I I'm a bad dog. Owner. Um, I'm gonna ask and see if they want to uh, come and take me to the store and just buy pretty much anything and everything that I need. Seeing as I break everything, I'm sure there's gonna be a hell of a list whenever they get here. All right, hit your pin a few more times. Finish that weld, finish that weld. 
Yeah, finish that one too. Um, no, no. I'm going to be able to do an interior structural weld. So just do these back too. I use my left hand as a shield, hold the whatever it is, TIG, MIG, whatever, I hold it with my right hand. Um, right hand, nice and bendy. Left hand, that shit's getting uh, kind of warped in there. There we go, yeah. As leather gets heated up, it shrinks. And then it fucking retains that heat, so it's just sitting there. Pretty sure it's not going to show up. But right here, it's getting, uh, it's getting burnt. All right, uh, turn this back on. Put the clamp over here. We have a clean spot. We got a clean enough spot. Okay. We need hopefully just two rods. I'm gonna have to move you. Oh fuck, you are tilted. Actually, let's let's straighten you out. Move you back, move you back upright. Tighten that. Now we can tilt you down. And yeah. Actually, if I move you over here, you might be able to see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Oh, that's a lot of moving, Chris. Right there. Okay. So we... Oh, I need to get the grinder. We're going to be welding. You can... You can... Can you see this? Where's the camera pointing? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be welding in from here all the way down to the end. But I need to clean up the, the base metal before I can start. Grinder.
that? Oh, that was just plywood, okay. Uh, Come on, right at the end, seriously? <sighs> That's not horrible, but it is aggravating. Loud noises. Oh, thank goodness I can do this little bit right here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna weld that. Okay. Not gorgeous, but that's a weld. Zoom you out. Bring you to the next one. Get out of the fucking way, Chris. Alright, that's the best I'm going to be able to get it. Okay. Hey, I'm 
unfortunately it has to go right there. Because I'm not grinding another fucking spot. Why? Why? Fucking stop it!
let's see how catastrophic this might go. Make sure you're plugged in. Turn you that way. Turn you up so you can see the potential fuckery. Actually, we need to straighten you out. There we go. Yeah. And we might even need to do that. Okay, you can barely see it. Right there's a ratchet strap. That's not bad. Like, it, like, it's just a fucking wall. But that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. It still feels off. Except if I get on the inside and pull extra hard, maybe? Yeah, let's see. Thank you. 
All right. Now inside support welds. Pull up the pants. Um, Yeah, it feels stable. It feels really stable. Aww. I broke part of the screen on my laptop. That's okay. a good one? Neither. Okay. That's, uh... Can this reach over here? No, not really. I know this is horrible. Don't ever fucking pull your machine by your fucking cord. Alright, I need to set this gate down on the fucking wall. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking pull one out and the other one goes in. Apparently I unplugged the camcorder. Is it going to go into its stupid fucking demo mode again? Well done. Home. Settings. Other settings. Demo mode off. Okay. Oh, but what about this? Oh, recording. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Are you actually like plugged in and good? Yeah, you are. Okay. So, yeah, I need to get that gate down. But it's going to hit that wall. Right there. goodness look at that beautiful okay gloves grinder <laughs>
looks good. That looks good. All right. We already got that side. We already got all those. Let's go back this way. Put a weld in here. Don't hit the metal. Okay, we're good. Turn the camera to face this way. Hi. I think they saw me because I was standing there. Yeah. Do you want to turn it to face this way? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> It does see you. Oh, there okay. you are. Now, do you want to like level it out? Because it looks like it's seriously at a sl uh, slam. I can't really see all of you. How do I tilt it like this? Okay, first, I'll hop down. Okay. <laughs> Okay, first, this needs to be facing this way. Uh -huh. This needs to be facing this way. Oh. Then we need to pull this out, because that's, and then the bottom one. one? Open that, uh -huh. pull it down all the way. Uh -huh. All right, now close it again. Uh -huh. All right, now it should be level. Yep, bubbles roughly in the middle. Oh, that's right, there's a bubble. Yeah, so this oh. does that. And then this one over here mm -hmm. does this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. <laughs> okay. Um, so all I have left is welding an internal structural weld over here. There's a structural box. Just like scrape it along. It's a magnet, so it's gonna pull. Don't be scared. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I dropped my rubber band. Oh, 
This is a titillating scream. <laughs> Where the fuck did my earbud go? The one I told you about? Okay. It's okay. You go and distract stream with that stuff. And just go and play with it. There's like, oh, I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see. All of these? It's metal, like bits, and then it just boops to the magnet. I thought it was dirt. Oh. I thought it was just like chunks of dirt. I guess there's dirt in it, probably. Crazy. Magnets are fascinating to me. Kind of like mirrors. Don't ask me why, but I find mirrors very fascinating. <laughs> Alright, that rubbery ear bit is gone. This earbud is useless now. You want to just take it inside? Maybe find it again. Yeah, maybe. If not, oh well, I have a laugh. Look at it move. Look at it. Look at it. I'm like Moses. <laughs> Do you want to repeat that for the camera? <laughs> she said, and I quote, I'm like Moses. Jewish, right? Right here. Look at you. Being a wizard and shit. We're wizards. Have you actually been paying attention to chat? Huh. No, me neither. I need to... I've been working for a little bit, and then I'll go back and read a handful of things. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so that's where the camera turned off. He said, Ola. Ola. Como estes. Yeah. I didn't say that I cared about you. I was just speaking... Sp just think of like any English speaking person. Oh, how's your day? They don't care about the fucking answer. What's up? So you never ate that? I ate some of it. Oh, you did? Yes. How is it? It's, it's better than a Hot Pocket, but it's trying... It's a Hot Pocket. It's trying to be Quiznos. Their, um, uh, was it like chicken alfredo sandwich or something? No. Is that what you had to do to fix your shoelaces? Yes. I woke up this morning, this shoelace is in half. That little bitch. Yeah. Jester's a bitch. Oh, yeah, the camera's still kind of high. Oh, yeah, I don't get high anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sober. Except for caffeine, nicotine, sugar, uh, <laughs> high, uh, uh, triglycerides, um, high fructose corn syrup, um, anything else that's legal. Hey, do you want to weld that last weld for me? Okay. I believe in you, babe. You can do it. I don't think Corey would appreciate it. I don't think Corey would appreciate a lot of this. <laughs> Corey's the client.
It's out of liquid and I'm burning the cotton. Hey, hey, look at my shoe. Look at my shoe. Look what I had to do at work. You're lucky I had a safety pin. <laughs> Did you really think he threw it over the fence? No, I thought it was going to get stuck in the tree. Oh, yeah, okay, that's that's a viable thing. She was throwing it. That's the game she likes. Martine told me a couple things to do. Yeah? He said when she comes running and tries to jump, turn your back. Yeah. Biden at you? <laughs> he said to stick your finger down. That one's a no. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to do that. No, it's push. So she has a problem chewing, um, like chewing on people. So what we figured, the camera's over there, not there. Uh, what we, not what we figured. I watch a lot of dog trainers and everything, and this dude's a fucking twat. Like, you could tell that he is abusive and uh, uh, a controlling, um, just bad... Like, you could tell he's a bad fucking person. Um, like, he kills puppies type of bad. No proof to that. But you can just look at him. If you've seen enough monsters, you could just look at him and see that, oh yeah, I could see him kicking a baby. I could see him kicking a puppy. Um, big dog trainer on YouTube. Um, he does have some valid points with a few things. So they start chewing on you, push their cheek in, so as they chew on you, they chew on themselves and they realize, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, you are not hurting them. You are not doing anything to them except for pushing their cheek inside their mouth. That's it. Now, if they bite down extra hard and they bite themselves and they yelp, they hurt themselves. Now, I understand that you're touching them, so they bite down and they feel pain. I'm, a, I'm assuming that they would associate that with you hurt me, but so far as I can tell, it's the only thing that's actually making any progress with her chewing. Um, she's good with me. She listens to me. Um, she sits, lays, up, um, speak. She doesn't do rollover. I feel like that's a stupid ass fucking trick. Why? Why would you want rollover? I would love the look, pew pew, and then she, eh and dies, that, that, that's really fucking cute, I like that. Um, but yeah, other than, other than me, she doesn't listen to anybody, at all. Uh, she listens to Michaela every now and then, but that's like a 50-50 type thing. So we need to get her, we need to get her a good trainer, a good hands-on trainer for at least two, three hours a week, like Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for an hour each or something, or like a, a two or three, two or three hour sessions. Um, and then I need the family to all reinforce it. Anything that she is being trained, we need to reinforce it. So she doesn't have that mentality of, oh, okay, I'm like this with this person but I can be however I want with anybody else. Um, yeah, we all need to reinforce it, so those are just rules and boundaries for everyone. The big problem is that a client comes over, she barks at the client like she's going to kill that client. And that's that's partially what we've trained her to do, but we've we pushed the stranger danger a little bit too far so if if i'm out walking her she understands that outside of this fence it's 
there there's other people. It's okay. I don't need to bark at everybody. I don't need to bark at... She barks at dogs quite a bit because all the fucking neighbor dogs bark at her. So it's that, like, oh, other dogs have shown me that this is what you do type thing. Um, but other than... Other than barking at dogs, she's, she's not mean or rude or anything to humans unless they try to get too close. If they get too close to me or her, she goes fucking crazy. Um, she has 100% of that, like, the, f the tight-knit family group from the, the shepherd and then just the rambunctious asshole from the, the husky, which causes not violence but violent-like tendencies that if you're even remotely afraid of dogs, even though she's smaller because she's still only six months, if you're even remotely afraid of dogs and you get too close to her, she's going to scare the shit out of you. She's not going to hurt you. Actually, we don't know that. Because anybody that has been scared of dogs or anybody that's tried to meet her the second she does do the I don't know you, get the fuck away, they get the fuck away. So, anyway, I need to do one more weld, and then we need to shut down shop for the day. this this way uh where's there it is okay we're good uh gloves and grinder Ugh. it's pretty nice out huh or is it too chilly and i'm just in leather so i don't feel it it's a little chilly i think it's like 48 or something Oh, it's 50. Babe, it's all cloudy and you're kind of in the shade. Corey's here. chain and just push the gate. The lock is there mainly for that like legal reason of technically that's breaking and entering. Oh, and though it stops me from even trying to open it. You just put the chain back on it'll hold it. Yep. That's good. Yeah she's inside. Wow. So we got some ugly welds. But form over function over form. Wow, I'm so happy with how straight this back wall is. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, and you're on screen. Okay. Wow. These, so, these braces are perfect. This this is as I would bend this bit of gap from the front and back side. So this one and this one, I was able to get a little bit of weld in on the back side here, but this one and this one, I just said fuck it and welded all the way down because I cannot weld on this inside edge. 
that whenever I found one that wasn't, I went to town on it to test. Yeah. So I decided to go with flux core for a few welds, okay. and the flux core wire is not up to standard. So I went ahead and replaced two of them. Okay. This one, I just had to break the whole thing off because the vertical welds you see are strong enough that it bent the fuck out of that top bit. Yeah, you must have really been and banging on You're gonna be moving shit. Right. And, and so the stick weld holds better than what? Yes. Yes. Uh, we we ramped up this is this Okay, so there is one single thing. Let's grab the level and I'm glad you stopped by. I needed to talk to you about these two front supports. Lower than I would hope, but everything is up to standard. That was a lot. So this is level. This needs to come this way, which means that this, because this sticks out farther than this. Um, so bring it. I bring this in, it's going to be the slide back down. Okay, yeah, I'd rather have it straight up. Okay. Um, I can even grab scrap and wire. Okay, so just fill this void and weld all of this. I can fill that gap with metal that is the exact same metal. Weld it all together. So what you're saying is when the wall comes down here, if it's not if it's not all the way up against this, then it's gonna be behind it. Shake shit, beat shit, make sure you feel comfortable. Oh, I'm, I'm, how did you end up hitting this wall so straight? Magnets. Oh, oh, ratchet strap. Okay. Um, and, and I had ratchet strap the middle. Very fucking sketchy because it's set. It's been on a slope that that ratchet strap could slide off. Right, and and you were able to, to move the wall enough to be able to, yep. to weld in the frame. Wow. And we can see from this, this one is almost dead on. Almost dead on. This, this thing's going to be amazing. Yeah. And then I'm also testing this right here because I have that handy dandy interior edge. Um, these are being pushed back. It is, it's right on the line. And then this one. Sorry. Yes, sir. I'm 
Come on, inside. Come on. Come on. thing that slowed me down was fucking therapy. Oh, yeah. Three hours, an hour to get there, almost sure. an hour to get back, and then an hour for therapy. 
Sure. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, this is, this is awesome. But even, you want to hop out and look at this real quick? Yeah. Wow, I'm just, when I looked at this wall right here and I, I saw how you did this and then when I felt it, I'm just, I couldn't be happier. So this right here still needs an extra tack. I don't this like it. amazing, dude. This wall looks great. Undercut's a little bad, but penetration is 100%. If you can see undercut and it's not a structural like I-beam, and you'll see the flare out right here. Wow. So you see the flare out right here. Mm -hmm. I still need to do that on this side because we don't like, you want flush smoothness to make sure that it is fully bound to that metal. There's that bulb, that like teardrop edge right there. So where That's, it's where it's gonna come in is when we weld this to the frame, mm -hmm. uh, not burning through the wall is gonna be the, the hard part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everything else. When, finish off tags. When you weld the actual wall to the frame, mm -hmm. would flux core be a better choice? because it's uh, I'm probably less likely to burn through. And that's that's totally your choice. Whatever uh, you think, so that's just a question. Maybe if I had 0 .030 flux score, I had 0 .035, I know it doesn't mean fucking anything. That slight extra diameter means that it's a little bit more able to punch. And if, if and, uh, you know, if, if there's uh, material that needs to be purchased for the project, let me know. You know, if, if you need a, a, a wide flexible wire or, or anything, you let me know and I'll, I'll get it. Okay. Um, because what I'm thinking there is, my only thought there is, um, the wall isn't going past that frame. No. And and the wall is not structural, the wall needs to just be pretty. So, um, and there's, so there's that. There's the, it's not going outside there, so yeah, you know, whatever you think is great there, but I'm just, I can't be happier with how this thing's going. I think your welds look beautiful. I think this looks beautiful. I love how it looks. Um, I love how this looks. Um, I think that it's just, it looks really great. Uh, you know, that's just how solid that is. Yeah, yeah when you, now that they are inside and outside of all the that's that doesn't move. This, because it's so long, will have some flex one way or the other, but coming straight it's getting there. Once we accept function over form, they don't have to be pretty, they have to be strong. It's, oh, and it's going to be pretty because your welds look great. And I'm going to, I'm going to paint this thing, and that's the biggest thing. Spray it dark blue. I'm going to come in with the grinder and. Get all the uh, you know grind it down and come in and spray it. This is all gonna look look great. I think your welds are beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah. I think it looks fantastic. Send a couple of pictures. Pots. Telling my grandpa and my dad about what's going on. Keeping. Hopefully, they're encouraging you more than my family does. It's uh. You know, uh, the moral support, 100%. Uh, there's been some times where it would have been a lot easier if they stepped in, you know, uh, by industry sometimes, but it, has, it hasn't happened. Uh, I had my dad, when I first started, I was talking about getting a trailer.
that sounds a little hundred percent like Mud Box. So long story short, it's no real land in the trailer. We got the trailer and said it out. Yeah, but uh my pops likes to show how much he loves Mud Box and Money. So he's coming in uh Fourth of July. Um, hey bro, there's there's Buckeye Welding Shop like a mile and a half away. I wanna fucking shop this. Yeah, that would be good for your business. Mm -hmm. That's a good investment. It really is. And he, he's the type of person that Yeah, it is coming along. Um, I, I have not been sitting on my ass. I have been troubleshooting and making sure that it is quality, not quantity. And I do, I do understand that this is your business, so I am trying to put forward speed. Yeah, but right now it's 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 I I, I didn't schedule for it. Don't worry about that. It's not an issue at all. Uh, I've, I've got it. other stuff I'm doing right now, deliveries and stuff. You know, I've got my charging packet with uh, a bunch of uh, roofing material I'm actually delivering. But it's something that I do is I, I do deliveries, pallets, uh, materials for contractors. Is going to be all of the walls, okay? Um, so I would like to be here to help you with the walls, okay? Because uh, they're heavy. So uh, if, if you're, you know, uh, you're sure that tomorrow's the wall day, uh, you know, let me know. When the, the day that the walls come, I will be here to help you with the walls. I know those two. Some troubleshooting is going to have to happen with exactly where to cut, how to cut, where to weld to make sure that I still feel safe and structural integrity. One thing about what I was thinking about the front, this is where the wind's going to be. Yeah. You know, and I go up the mountains, um, on the highways, everywhere you can, and so there's going to be um, highway speed winds plus gusts and whatever, and so this That sounds good. 
Yeah. All right. So then tomorrow is probably going to be engineering this front end, and then Saturday is going to be. Walls are ready. Let me know. It doesn't get straighter than that. When I, when I left here, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. And so I was, it looks like this front one is tilted out just a touch. Yeah, it looks straight. But when I left that wall, that, you know, it didn't have the frame. It was, it was leaning in. And uh, you did exactly what you said. So. It worked out just like you said it would here. I mean, it, you bent this back and put these in, and it's just really, I'm really impressed. Okay, it looks, it looks good. And quality check, real quick. At Fifty-six and an eighth. And I measured out to each one almost exactly. So the only the only variation is probably one sixteenth of an inch. We're doing a tack weld. Shifted this one sixteenth of an inch. Okay. And each one should be dead on within a sixteenth of an inch to its brother, sister, sibling on the other side.
Right on, just enough room to be able to get that down. Yeah, this is pretty great. Okay, well, uh, yeah, just when, when you're uh, ready, put the walls up, and I'll be here. Okay? And you should, you should be getting a uh, set of pictures and a message tomorrow, probably back in two <laughs> that is the one part of this fucking job that I hate the most. Dealing with the fucking customers. Like, I understand <laughs> that my brain works different, but, uh... But if I am showing you something, like firsthand, I am I am actively showing you this is the piece of metal. Here is a gap right here. That sheet is gonna slide into that gap. So I need your approval to make this modification right here. It took a good 10 fucking minutes for that shit to sink in. Alright, um, I told him I'm going to keep going at that front end, but I'm not. Um, I'm done for the day. So, thank you for coming and hanging out. I hope you have wonderful days and nights and afternoons. Uh, I hope everybody has wonderful days and nights and afternoons or whatever it is for wherever you are right now. Um, thank you for coming and hanging out. And thank you for coming and hanging out, Bohab.